IBS, IBD. What's the difference and does it really matter? Watch this video to find out. The answer might surprise you. For the most helpful information you'll find about IBS online, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Friday. If you're confused about IBS and IBD and you're not sure which one you have, by the end of the video you'll know the difference and you'll know what that means for your road to recovery. I'm Wendy Lang, holistic health and happiness coach, licensed acupuncturist, and powerhouse IBS conqueror. And I know that digestive diseases can be really confusing to figure out. I help my clients understand and heal their guts and now I'm helping you too. IBS, IBD, SIBO, GERD, gastritis, gastroenteritis. This week I'm launching a brand new series on IBS and other digestive diseases. In this episode, we're starting with the most confusing one, IBS versus IBD. IBS is a Western medical term that stands for irritable bowel syndrome. The word syndrome refers to a collection of related symptoms, in this case, digestive symptoms, for which the cause is undefined. This means that medical science doesn't know what causes IBS. IBD stands for inflammatory bowel disease. The word disease means that for a set of related symptoms, there is a defined cause and a structural issue in the body. IBD is actually an umbrella for two different digestive diseases, both of which have chronic inflammation of the digestive tract, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. When you first go to the doctor with your digestive symptoms, they run you through a series of invasive tests, colonoscopy, endoscopy, imaging, blood tests, swallowing for this, fasting for that, they are testing to see whether you have a disease, a structural problem in your digestive system that's causing all of your symptoms, like a blockage, an ulcer or a hole, an inflammation, something out of place or something out of the ordinary. If they can't find anything, they'll diagnose you with a syndrome, IBS. So now that you know the technical difference between IBS and IBD, what does it actually matter to you? What's the difference between struggling with one versus the other? Did your doctors explain the difference between IBS and IBD? Let me know by dropping a yes or a no in the comments below. From a struggle perspective, there isn't much of a difference. IBS and IBD can both be very frustrating and extremely debilitating. And they share many of the same symptoms, diarrhea, constipation, extreme bloating, painful cramping, smelly gas, food intolerances, worse with stress, mood changes, exhaustion. From a traditional Chinese medicine perspective, or TCM for short, IBS and IBD share a similar diagnosis, weak digestive organs. The digestive organ systems aren't strong enough to perform their normal functions, so they're sounding the alarm and flaring up your gut. Whether it's because of a structural issue or not, your gut is weak and it needs to be strengthened. On top of that, the stress of struggling with a chronic illness causes additional pressure on your body and makes your symptoms worse. It's like a bully choosing the weakest link. Your gut's already weak, so it's an easy target for your stress to attack. So what's the difference from a treatment perspective? In Western medicine, doctors will try anti-inflammatory or immune system drugs to help manage IBD. Sometimes if the condition is extremely severe, they'll suggest surgery to remove parts of the intestine that have the structural issue. There's different drugs available to treat IBS too, but I've heard enough stories about them not working or about them making things worse, and I've personally experienced it too, to know that it's not an exact science and they haven't quite figured out what the right treatment is yet. From a TCM perspective, both IBS and IBD have similar treatment plans, support and repair your weak gut, and manage your stress. The best way to start is by following the TCM golden rule for digestion, warm, simple, cooked meals. To help you with this, sign up for my newsletter and I'll send you a mini recipe book to get you started on the right track. The link is in the description box below. So to recap, IBS and IBD are different Western medical diagnoses with similar symptoms. From a TCM perspective, a weak gut is a weak gut. And the first order of business is to strengthen it in order for it to be able to process nutrients and then support your body in the healing process. And the TCM golden rule of thumb, warm, simple, cooked meals. Get started by downloading that recipe booklet 
in the link in the description box below. Also, I know that digestive diseases can be isolating, so come join a tribe of people just like you in my Facebook community of powerful women conquering IBS, where I share even more tips on how you can kickstart your IBS journey to health. If you like this video, let me know by liking it below, drop a comment with the word helpful, and let me know what your biggest takeaway was. And also make sure that you're sharing with your fellow IBS conquerors, because I want to spread the word that IBS is not a forever thing, so I can help you guys beat this together. I have so much more to share with you, including more tips on how you can get your IBS under control for good. So make sure that you're subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so that you're notified every Friday when a new video is posted.